Today we'll create a journal entry in Workday. Journal entries are intended to reclassify incorrectly spent funds or to transfer funding from one funding source to another. Selecting the correct cost centers and spend categories in Workday should reduce the need for journal entries. However, journal entries are still possible in Workday and will automatically route to the accounting department for review and approval. We'll start by signing into Workday at Workday .vassar.edu. In the top left corner of the main Workday screen is a search box. We'll click the box and start typing Create Journal, and then select it from the search results. We'll begin filling out the fields on this screen. We don't have to fill them all, but we'll talk about the ones that are required. In the Ledger field, choose Vassar College Actuals. Enter the date by typing it or select it on the calendar. In the Journal Source field, select Journal Request. In the Balancing Fund, choose FD1111 Operational Balancing. In the Memo field, type a short description of the reason for creating the journal. Type reclass if an expense is being reclassified, or transfer to indicate that funding is being transferred between cost centers. We'll use transfer for this example. In control total amount, enter the total amount for the journal entry. Everything looks good, so we'll click continue to proceed. You'll see that two journal entry lines have appeared at the bottom of the screen. You can add additional journal lines by clicking the plus sign here. The first field we need to fill out is the ledger account. You can find a list of these account numbers on the accounting website. And you can also type in the field to search for the appropriate ledger account. For this example, let's say that we're transferring funds from the User Services Cost Center to the Physics Department Cost Center because Physics bought a computer that User Services should have paid for. Computer hardware falls under the ledger account 67,000, which is furniture, fixtures, and equipment. So we'll put that in both lines. Next, we'll put the amount of the transaction in the debit field on the first line and the same amount in the credit field on the second line. If you have more journal lines, you can distribute the funds as needed between the debit and credit fields on multiple lines. We'll use the memo field to add more detailed information about the transaction. We'll now scroll to the right and fill out the Fund and Cost Center fields. In most cases, the fund will be FD1000, and for this example, we'll add the cost centers for user services and physics. The function field populates automatically. Next, we'll fill either the spend category or revenue category fields, depending on the type of funds we're working with. If we're spending from a gift, grant, program, event, or other funding source, we can choose that in the additional work tags field. Next, we'll click the Attachments tab and add any supporting documentation we have, such as email messages, invoices, or written confirmations.
Finally, we'll click Submit. This journal entry is now off for approval by the cost center managers. We can see who needs to approve this journal entry by clicking the Details and Process heading, then the Process tab. And that's it. We're done.